Okay, so here's the work solution then to number three, part A for this paper. So we've got the equation of the curve, C, which is y equals x squared e to the x. And in part A, we've got to find dy dx using the product rule. So what is the product rule? Hopefully you can remember that uh, when we have y equals two functions of x being multiplied together, we tend to call them u, v. So in this particular example, u is going to be the x squared, v is going to be e to the x. You can see in your formula book that dy dx equals u times the differential of v, so that's u dv dx, plus then v times du dx. Alright? Okay, so if we're going to use that here, we're going to have that dy dx, okay, I think I'll put a therefore there because it follows directly from this statement, therefore dy dx equals, so we have the u part, so that's going to be x squared, I always prefer to put these things in brackets always at this stage, so I'm going to put x squared in brackets. So we've got the u part times the differential of v, differentiating e to the x with respect to x is simply e to the x. Then we have plus, and then we have v, which is e to the x, so put that in brackets. And then multiply it by the differential of the u part with respect to x, so differential of x squared is 2x. Okay, so we have two terms now and we need to just clean these up. So first of all, the first one just falls out quite nicely as x squared e to the x or even e to the x x squared. I'm going to just write x squared e to the x though. And on the second term here, it would be a good idea to put the 2 at the front, so we have 2x e to the x. Alright, so essentially that's it. I could, I suppose, if you wanted, just factorise this. Let's just take it one step further. If you did factorise it, x is a common factor, so is e to the x. So we can have x e to the x then an open bracket with an x inside and then plus 2. Alright, okay so any of those two should do as a solution to part A. Okay we move on to part B now. So it asks us to hence find the coordinates the turning points of the curve C. So hence would be to use this last answer. Now at turning points we know that the gradient of the curve is going to be zero. Okay, so on that basis we would say that, uh, let's say at turning points, let's get this fact in, at turning points, okay, the gradient, that's dy dx, equals zero. So therefore if the gradient is zero we can see that from part A that our factorised version, so that therefore that's becoming far more useful now, x e to the x, x plus two will equal zero. So obviously if we had left our answer like that and we had this equal to zero we've got to go for factorising anyway. All right. Okay, so we have three factors here, multiplied together then equals zero. So that means that either this factor here, x is equal to zero, all right, or e to the x equals zero, but e to the x, e to the x, what does that look like? Remember your graph of e to the x? Okay. E to the x is a graph, if we had that as y and that's x. E to the x looks like this, comes up through here, up through the 1 and goes off something like that. E to the x equaling 0? No, it never does equal 0, does it? Okay. 
it might tend to zero here as x tends to negative infinity but it never equals zero so I'll forget about that one but I can have x plus 2 that equals zero so I'll have or x plus 2 equals zero and that will lead to x equaling minus 2 so we therefore have x equals zero or x equals minus 2. So these are the x-coordinates then of the turning points. But it did ask us to find the coordinates, so it's expecting us to find the y-values. So since I know that y equals x squared e to the x, okay, then when I put x equals naught into this, I'll find out the y-coordinate. So what we'll do is we'll number this number 1, okay, and we'll just say substitute sub for short x equals naught into number one and so therefore what happens is we get that y equals naught squared which is obviously naught times e to the power of naught anything times naught is naught so we have one turning point at naught naught and also we can say sub Let's put a line down there, I think. Just divide it off. Sub x equals minus 2 into number 1. And therefore we have y equals minus 2 all squared times e to the power minus 2. Minus 2 squared is 4. So we end up with 4 e to the minus 2. Leave your answer in exact form. Otherwise, what you're going to have here, if you did that on a calculator, you're going to have a horribly long decimal, in fact, infinitely long, and uh, would have to round it up. So uh, they want the exact answer, so we'll leave it like that. OK, so let's just summarise at the end here and answer the question by saying that, therefore, the turning points... OK, turning points... What are they? They are at 0, 0, the origin. And the other one would be when x is minus 2, that's minus 2, we end up with y being 4e to the minus 2. OK, so that's the end of part B.